This is a bench top die casting machine. I bought this at a flea market, uh, a machinery flea market at a steam show. And um, I guess it was a hundred dollars or something, hundred and fifty, I don't remember exactly. But I've been looking at these for quite a number of years and that they run for I don't know, one to two thousand dollars, various ones. This is Amco. I, I've had it for quite a while, about a year and a half, I haven't tried it. But I finally got, I got some pellets in. I, I bought these online and they were like six dollars for a couple ounces. And finally, I was at a, I, that was just too much money. I figured I couldn't make any money with that. So, um, I happened to be at a, a die shop, a casting shop, a die casting shop, and I uh, asked the guy if I could buy a bag of pellets from him, plastic pellets, and he looked at me like I had two heads. He said, what do you want them for? This guy had huge die casting machines, and he had a bench model, which I'm looking at, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. This thing has very little capacity, size-wise, but it's something to play with, something to learn with. I made these dies up oh, maybe a year ago, I don't know, they got little extractors in the center of the brass pins that push out, that also doubles as a, a countersink for a flathead screw that holds them on where they go. So uh, it's up at 450 degrees, I don't really know where to run it. But that's what I was doing last night, or the other night, it wasn't last night, over the weekend, I'll cast some stuff up. This has a hole back here, so I have to put a plate, otherwise these extractors just push out. Put her in there. Now I don't know how to do this, but just playing with it. I had a strip of wood here some someplace, tighten that up. Well, I'll just do it here. I'll come down on a little bit and compress the plastic in there, the pellets. Before I actually, that worked out pretty good. And we'll put some more pellets in there. And see what we'll cast a couple, see what we get. Here goes. Oh, the piece, here's a piece of pipe. I'm not over the hole. That's one. I'll put some more pellets in there. Very limited. Okay, slide her over to the next hole. Here we go. All right, let's see what we get. Well, that lost most of that. Now, well, we got two good ones. I have to knock these extractors and break them loose. Okay, here are the two parts. That's the first two parts. I didn't even have to heat it up. So I'm 
need to clean that nozzle off so I can see what's going on. Yeah. You don't want to stick your fingers on there, it's pretty hot. My fingers are about burnt up. pellets in there down a hole I should put them in right after I push Make sure they're they're hot Whoops. Now yeah, I have to let these preheat some more. I'm going to push them in there. There you go. I don't think that one went. I think the first one went okay. Well, here's a pile of parts after about an hour's work. I changed over to that clear material, which won't be as good. I have to try and get some more of the. The uh, colored material does a better job. Be clear. Going to be another step to have to be painted. So that's all for now. It's all in fun.